What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you with the Rise of Mordor sub mod and the Galadrium Elves uh, mod which has been now improved and so we have like these units kind of work a bit better and the game doesn't crash as much so obviously we have the Galadrium Elves here and the reason why you've all clicked on this video more than likely to see Sauron who at the moment uh, seems to be hiding, <laughs> I can't seem to find him where is he? Um, I'm not quite sure. He's run back here somewhere. But he is on the battlefield. We also have the Night uh, not the Night King, the Witch King. Getting my fancy worlds mixed up at the moment there. Um, but yeah, here we have the Witch King. Look at him. He looks amazing. That is, no man can kill this guy. Um, unless you're a woman. There you go. Um, he's unfortunately not on a, on a fell beast. That would have been cool. But uh, yeah, he's just on a basic horse. So, I mean, um, we've got Got to try out uh, these these uh, elf unit elf units. We have Gladrium two-handed sword uh, sworded elves. We have some uh, sword infantry, um, which just basically got shields. These guys look pretty damn cool. And we have archers. Obviously, as the elves, you have to bring a, a load of archers. And there they go. They're firing off some shots into the orcs. And we have as a general, we have the white wizard. We have Gandalf. Here he is on the battlefield. He looks, he's looking majestic as ever. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, there's not much else you can really say about Gandalf. He is, he is going to probably take down a few orcs. Maybe the Witch King as well. Oh, here he is. Is he running away? Here he is. Lord Sauron, the coward, is running away from battle, it would seem, at the moment. But, I mean, there he is with his huge mace. I can't wait to see this guy, this guy on the battlefield. I mean, he is... Look, this model looks amazing, I will say. It looks like straight out of the films, as do like the Witch King and Gandalf, to be honest. I mean, that guy looks awesome. So we're entering a bit of a uh, of a skirmish stage at the moment. The uh, Elf Archers doing a lot of damage to the Uruk Archers that they're facing. Um, we have Uruk Throng in behind. We have um, some Orc Pikes and some Uruk Spears making up this uh, Orc Army that's just to supplement um, Sauron and the Witch King. I expect these guys to be uh, able to do a quite a bit of damage. I'm not quite sure how powerful these elves are really. Hopefully they're um, they're not too powerful um, and they're going to take out all these sub-mod units. We'll see though. But we have the Witch King here riding at Gandalf. He's going in for an early charge. I clearly did not see this. And um, and yes, Gandalf is now under attack, and he's gonna he's gonna duke it out with the Witch King, just right right next to our archers as they carry on fighting. Who's gonna win this fight? I mean, it looks like Gandalf's not putting in many hits. I don't think he's putting a hit yet. Come on, Gandalf, fight back! Look at them, they're just staring out. It's like, I don't want to fight. I just want love. Oh, and Gandalf's died. <laughs> oh god. So it seems that the Witch King has killed our general off in no time, and there we go, killing a elf now, killing two elves. Oh, this guy's on a He's on absolute kill streak. He's now riding down archers as we go. He's got a third. Oh my gosh. This guy's on a roll. So now um, the infantry lines have clashed whilst, um, whilst the Witch King is causing havoc in the rear. So the Uruks have engaged. They've given up fighting on the front lines. Let's see how powerful these elves are. Will they, uh, will they be able to break through? Or will they now because they've lost their general break quite quickly, which happens in Attila with whatever mod you seem to use. If your general dies, your units break as well. Oh, there's some withering vo volleys going on overhead. Let's see, like, these orcs. Are they going to get shot at again? Archer volleys are just so, so satisfying to watch. And the pikes are mo moving on forward. I think I'm focusing down their pikes themselves so they just can't really do a lot. Um, can't like do the damage, but I'm already broken this left flank, so it seems that the elves are still quite powerful without their general, and it's now going to become a huge encirclement. The uh, orcs don't really have any reserves. Sauron's all the way over here. Um, don't know really what he's doing, but look at the balance of power. Already massively shifted, not in our favour because Gandalf has died. Um, it looks like the elves are holding their own at the moment. I mean, these men are immortal. Uh, these guys are immortal, so they've been training all their lives. So I expect them to be able to hold against some orcs or uruks in this case. Look at this uruk. He's like, please spare me. 
You're not worth anything, pal. You're an Uruk. I mean, they just guys look. The Orcs been relentless. Punching through, and they're pulling back for some reason here. They're repositioning, allowing these uh, elves a bit of respite. Not really what I'd have been doing. I'd be constantly pushing, unless they're going to try and flank around. Quite possible. A lot of elves being a bit idle back here. I need to really push them forward, get them into the battlefield. Uh, the Night King, uh, not the Night King, the Witch King of Angmar is uh, occupying two of my units. Not really doing a lot of damage to him, it would seem. Look at this front line, though, of all these pikes. This looks amazing. And these, uh, these elves just look straight out of the movies. It's really immersing me into it. Really getting me in the Lord of the Rings mood. Chopping off heads, left, right and centre, these guys. So uh, let me know in the comments, guys, what is your favourite faction that you've seen on Rise of Mordor so far. We've seen a fair few of them so far. Um, I think we've seen all of them now. This is a... Uh, the Gladrims are under Lothlorien at the moment. We have no Imladris... Uh, elves currently, but I'm sure they will be added at some point, either by the rise of Mord or Submod, or just by someone else independently. But I mean, yeah, we've seen near, I think we've seen every faction now, even Harad, when they got re added. But let's see, where's. Has Sauron joined the battle yet? No, he's still. He's still. Uh, well, he's making a move. He, he keeps chasing, he keeps thinking, I'm going to attack. Then thinking better of it. Look at him. He's not quite sure. He's like, yes, I'm going to go for it. We'll do it. Oh, he's getting focused down by archers now. Oh, he's taking a few uh, arrows to his face. Oh, no. He's got him in his hand. That can't be pet. That can't be nice. But, I mean, he is the Dark Lord. He can probably take a couple of arrows and not worry about it. Looks like he's going to go in now on his right flank and do some damage. The left flank is now entirely destroyed by... Uh, well, the elven left flank is entirely enveloped around, destroying the right flank of the orcs. There's a lot of problems going on here for the orcs. Sauron really needs to join the battle to probably turn it in his favour, and he is in there now. Let's give it. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, taking a taking an elven head straight away. It's great to see. Well, unless you're rooting for the elves, that is, then that's not so great to see. And it looks like the elves are moving on. They don't really want to fight fight Sauron, it's probably for the best, you don't really want to fight the Dark Lord on your own. These are brave elves fighting here. He's, he's knocking a lot of elves over, but he's not actually killing them. I will, <laughs> did you see that? That guy was beheaded and his head's grown back. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but I mean, I think like when Sauron charges in, he should really have like the like the charge ability of almost like an elephant or a, certainly like cavalry, he's stumbling there. Um, and he sh certainly should be killing guys in like one or two hits. I mean, this guy is like got the biggest mace I've ever seen. He really should be killing guys a lot quicker. See, that orc just killed that elf guy a lot quicker. That el elf guy, that elf a lot quicker. Sauron's not killed many. But I mean, as you can see here, look at this. This is major problems here for the orcs. It's kind of just coming down to this. The balance of power. I think it's bugged out because we now outnumber the Orcs. Um, four to one. But they're still holding strong of the Orcs. They won't give up on their master. They do look goddamn awesome. I do love their armour. Beautiful. Beautiful deaths. Orcs being cut down. Oh gosh, that's it. I think that's all the orcs or the orcs basically gone. There can't be many left. I mean, they're now being surrounded over here. We need to be careful of this. Um, the orcs have done a nice little maneuver here surrounding us between, pinning us between uh, Sauron and themselves. It seems that like every elf that's died though has had his head chopped off. Clearly or orcs have something wrong against um, elves and their heads. That guy's get bleeding out nice and slowly down there. 
I wouldn't bring the, I would have at least brought a helmet mate to the battlefield. Where are you? There you are. Especially if you're going to fight Sauron. Oh, he's fallen down. He's, he's not dead, is he? No, surely not. No, he's getting up. He's just having a little nap. But this is it. Oh my gosh, this horde. This horde of elves. Look at all these elves. Oh god. This goes miles back. There's like 2,000 elves still on the battlefield. And the Witch King? What's he doing? We'll quickly have a look at him, see what he's doing. He's not actually killed anyone over here. See, again, he's another one that should be uh, really beefed up. And like, if he's not able to kill these guys, like, he killed three or four really quickly. Now he's not to kill a single one. Oh, he's got one there. Just as I say it, he gets one. But I mean, he should have killed at least probably about, I don't know, five or six more. There's a couple more dead down there, but I mean, still. Should be doing better. And it looks like, looking from this view, that the elves are basically just surrounding. It just looks like there's Sauron left. Oh no, and some Uruk throng that are brave enough to return to the battlefield. Brave 30 odd. Taking a few, tr trying to take a few more elves with them. Like, goddamn elves, living forever. You can die. Oh, that guy just like battered this guy. Oh, pushing him down. The cheek of it. And here we go. It's just Sauron left. Where is he? Oh, he takes another elf head. He's got. A cult. He's like, when I get out of this mess, I'm gonna collect all your heads and put them on my mantelpiece. It'll be a big mantelpiece if you have to kill all these, though. God, we could have done with another army of orcs. Maybe we will. Maybe now that we have these uh, elves, we will do another, uh, like, another Helm's Deep now that we have Gladium Elves. Because I do believe that the Rohan faction, if you add this mod on, does allow you to also recruit the Gladium Elves. That would be perfect. So we could have this mod uh, and the beefed up Rohan mod as well. So we could have, like, some really fancy units for Rohan and some really fancy units for, um, for the Elves. And I think Isengard has a few... New, new, new units, god, we got there eventually with uh, this mod on as well. And we do have Aragon as a uh, as a unit as well, I'm pretty sure. It's a very, very good mod. It's exciting, exciting to see what other people can do. Go on, get cut this man down, or this elf down. He dares to fire you, stabbing your horse. But it means it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Sauron's still holding strong, as far as I can tell. Where is he? Oh god, he's right. I get a bit of lag when I go in here. But here he is, still fighting the f good fight. Let's see if he can hold out. So if, also guys, I'll remind you, um, if you're enjoying the Rise of Mordor content and you want to see more, please do leave a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Oh, he's taking another stumble. And we're getting ever so close to 900. We're over halfway now. I think we're at like 850 as I speak. Uh, oh, he's taking another elf head. Let's see how many kills he's got. He must have a few. Let's see. Sar Where is his marker? Sauron. Oh, no, we can't see, of course. We'll see at the end. Forgot we don't have the HUD. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, I have a feeling he's probably got... Oh, is that him dead? No. Yes, maybe. No, he's taking another another fall though, so he must be getting pretty weak. He must be getting pretty weak. I mean, the Witch King of Angmar is going on strong still as well. Both these guys don't seem like they're planning on giving up. I feel like their health bar isn't um, doesn't work because I don't think he can be still on full health. Surely not. I know he has a lot of health. He has like about one thousand six hundred HP. But surely he must be getting low. We'll speed it up for uh, for a little bit because I have a feeling this could be going. We're looking at the time we have left. They have a lot of uh, a lot of beating of them up left to go. There we go. In we go again. And we don't want to make this battle last forever. Here we go. You're gonna die now, Sauron. The elves have had enough. 
These guys can live forever and carry on hacking you down. I mean, so can you. You can go on a long time as well. He's using it almost like a spear. There he goes. He's dead. Sauron has died. He's dead. So will the Witch King of Angmar break? Or will he... Or will he just fight on? I mean, look at that. Look at him. What a poor, poor soul. You will be missed, Sauron. What a good looking uh, unit he is. And then let's just watch as these guys march up. Look at all these guys. All these elves. So tired. Killed so many orcs. Now they've got to fight on. Whoa, what are these guys with spears? Are these like the standard bearers, I wonder? They must be. Elven spearmen would be pretty good. Elven cav, which the mod doesn't, prov uh, doesn't have, they would be good. But I mean, surely the Witch King Rangmar can't last long now. So we'll we'll speed this up again. He surely can't last too long. Clearly, these units are very strong. I mean, the elves are pretty strong. I don't think they take a masses of losses. We'll have a quick look at the um, battlefield and have a look. I don't think they've probably taken many losses. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, look at all this. There's loads of orcs. A few elves. Really not that many elves. Unless they're buried under all the orcs. But, I mean, not really. You can kind of identify them with their blue blue capes. But there's not many of them. Gandalf, clearly. I mean, clearly the hero is very strong against each other. Because Gandalf died in about four or five hits. To the Witch King. But, um... Clearly, he's just... Yeah, these unit, these Gladrims are very strong. Certainly against um, sub-mod units. We'll certainly have to try them against... Um, against uh, what the Isengard units. I think they've got some scouts. So they have some like Isengard scouts that they've uh, added in themselves. Um, even though there is a scout unit for Isengard already. Um, I think there might be another Urukai unit that... They've added. I'm not quite sure. I need to check that. But it'll be good to try them out. So we could do a Helm's Deep with the modded units for both, um, for both factions. Really, and that'd be really cool. If you want to see that, please uh, let me know in the comments and uh, leave a like. And uh, that's always handy. That's always handy to tell whether people enjoy watching this sort of video. So he's surely getting close to dying now. I mean, this poor guy. He's taking about a hundred hits. He's just like, my horse, it's, it's barely living. Why didn't I bring the fell beast? It would have been so much more handy. I mean, if they could get out of fell beast, that would be very impressive. But flying units and adding to Attila must be hard, if not impossible. So let's listen to the shouting as it goes on. You're so loud, goddamn elves. I mean, look at these guys. Some of them are really covered in blood. Like, I mean, look at the girls back there. They're really covered in blood. They've seen a lot of action. But he's not even killing any elves now. He's just knocking them back. So clearly, they, the, uh, they could do with some beefing up. I think certainly in their the health department, they're fine. They last long enough in the health department. Uh, certainly, their attack. Their attack's just clearly not strong enough to actually kill any of these guys. I mean, I'm sure it's good enough to kill the submog guys. That'd be interesting to see, actually. If we put Sauron up against a load of, like, Gondor infantry. Or, and see if he could, like, how many he'll get through. I'm sure he might get through quite a lot. So, we'll see. But, I mean, here he goes. He must, he's about to die, I have a feeling, looking at the timer. Which lucky guy knocks him down? Um, oh! Un oh, what unlucky. That horse, I think, probably getting like one of the final kills. It's like, just as he's about to die, um, or the battle's about to end, you just get kicked in the back, or kicked in the face by the, uh, by the horse. Oh, it's that guy there, that guy here. Steve here gets the kill. Steve the Elf, that's definitely his name. So we'll end the replay, a decisive victory, and we'll look at the end results. I mean, I expect a lot of 
lot of good kills by the elves. I mean, yeah, 200 by these Gladry Marchers, 202 by these Sword Infantry. Uh, zero for this Sword Infantry, but I think this is the one that was dedicated to bringing down the Witch King. Gandalf getting no kills but dying. Sauron getting 5 kills and dying. Uh, the Witch King getting 12. It's a little bit better, but not not so great. I would like, like I said, I'd like to try these guys out on the uh, submod units to see whether they could do any well. So clearly these submod units aren't up to the match against these uh, Gladrium mod units. So we'll take that take that in mind when uh, if we wanted to do another battle with the elves, or um, or they need to just like balance them out with the submod units, one or the other. Um, so we. There you go. If you want to have a look at those end results, you are more than welcome to. Um, please leave a like and subscribe, guys, if you enjoyed the video. And, and until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.